Hello, Jester Good here, and today I'm going to be unboxing two LEGO Mystery Boxes. And this is a huge one, so I couldn't even do it in my regular place, but these have sets from LEGO Space Police and LEGO Power Miners. But which sets are a mystery? So let's open this sucker up. And these were like steals on eBay. I'll tell you which ones, um, or how much I got each one for. So this is the first one, which I believe is just one set. On right about now, you can start seeing which set that is. Definitely a Power Miner set. <laughs> it's in this freaking garbage bag, which is kind of funny, but it is not a garbage set. It's actually it's in very good condition. Oh my gosh, look at that. Finally, I've been wanting, like I said, I've been wanting this set since it came out, and I got this set for $95 on eBay. I saw a listing, and I negotiated with the buyer and brought it from down from like $110 to 95 Amazing price for this because this sucker usually goes for like 150 sealed and this is 100 sealed box is a little bit beat up I think it was listed as that in the listing, but that's okay um, It's not like super super beat up. It just has a little bit of dings here and there you can see it So I can't wait to review this one now on to the space please sets So this is an even bigger box and these are like the biggest boxes I've opened on these mystery holes series of videos these, this sucker is a super hard to open, but you can already see some sets peeking out right there. Ugh, I want to be careful because they are all sealed. Ugh. And so the first set ugh, is the Max Security Transport set from Space Police. This is a really hard to find set because it was a special edition. It only came out, I think, in Target. Box is beat up. That was how it was listed. But I got this as a steal. I think it was like 34 bucks, which is below MSRP. I think it was originally retailing for $40. This sucker sealed usually goes for around 60 or 70, so very good deal there. Then there's this one, SP Undercover Cruiser, which I didn't have the most interest for, really. But this was in a steal of a listing with this set right here. Which I never had so many interests with either, I just really like that play feature. But these together were $47. I won a bidding war for $47 for both of these sets. Sealed in, uh, well, this one's a mint, sort of. This one's a little bit more dinged up, but it's still very good condition. So I'm going to open all these suckers up and review them, and let's see all of them all together. So I got this set and this set, which this one was originally $30, as well as this one being originally $30, in basically mint condition in their boxes for $47 in a bidding auction. So I basically got, what, around $13 off of MSRP, but secondhand, I mean, both of those sets are around $50 to $60 in mint condition, so I got a really good deal there. Then this one, I mean, it's it's a little bit beat up. It's definitely in worse condition than the other few, but it was still the same seller. And this sucker I got for $34, I believe, which is about six bucks under MSRP. And secondhand, this sucker goes for around $60 mint, so really good deal there as well. And then I got Lava Traz, which you guys know I'm trying to complete all of the Power Miner sets, like I said earlier. But basically I got this for $95 in secondhand mint. This goes for around $150, so it does have a lot of kind of wear and a little bit of tear to the box. But it's still sealed and everything, just like all the other sets in this haul. So still a really good deal there because it's one around $150 mint, you know. So good deal. And I, I'm glad I got it so cheap. So that's it for this haul. I will be reviewing all of these 2009 and 2010 sets, so keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.